Prince Harry has shown he's settled into a life of mingling with America's A-list after being spotted hugging a well-known Hollywood actress in a backstage snap from the NAACP Awards. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex took to the stage in Los Angeles on Saturday to accept a top accolade at the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People NAACP, Image Awards. Harry and Meghan were presented with the President's Award in recognition of special achievement and distinguished public service for their humanitarian work. Previous recipients of this award include Muhammad Ali, former U.S. President Bill Clinton and singer Rihanna. Saturday's ceremony marked the couple's first major Hollywood event since leaving the royal family. It also marked the first joint public engagement for the pair in 2022. At the event, they rubbed shoulders with host Anthony Anderson and dozens of A-listers in attendance. In behind-the-scenes photos from the NAACP Awards, Harry could be seen embracing the singer Jennifer Hudson. In photos shared on social media, the Duke can be seen beaming as he chats with the Dream Girls star backstage at the ceremony. Jennifer Hudson was named Entertainer of the Year at the awards ceremony, and during her acceptance speech the singer-actor thanked the NAACP for inspiring little girls like me. The Oscar and Grammy winner told the audience, I was just standing here thinking it was here, the NAACP Awards, where I watched so many legends and icons that inspired me. Now, I'm standing here holding an award like this. It's because of seeing the Arethas, the Patti LaBelles, the Halle Berries, all these legends right here on this stand that inspired me. Jennifer Hudson played her idol, Aretha Franklin, in the film Respect which follows the singers from childhood through the 1972 recording of the gospel album Amazing Grace. During the ceremony, Harry and Meghan gave their own acceptance speech when they were presented with their prestigious gong. Harry showed gratitude to the NAACP for welcoming him into their community, before addressing those in Ukraine impacted by the ongoing Russian invasion. The Duke said, We would like to acknowledge the people of Ukraine who urgently need our continued support as a global community. Harry also said he and his wife were meant to be together to help others despite their supposed differences. He said, It's safe to say I come from a very different background than my incredible wife. Yet, our lives were brought together for a reason. We share a commitment to a life of service, a responsibility to confront injustice and a belief for the most overlooked that are the most important to listen to. Also at the event, Meghan and Harry launched the new NAACP Archul Digital Civil Rights Award, in recognition of those who are creating transformational change at the intersection of social justice and technology. For the occasion, Harry wore a black tuxedo by Oswald Boateng, while Meghan dazzled in a sapphire blue gown by Christopher John Rogers. The Duchess accompanied the dress with a quasiras celeste gold heels and earrings designed by Alexis Batar, a Brooklyn-based jewellery and lifestyle brand. Meghan Markle paid a subtle tribute to Princess Diana this weekend as she joined Prince Harry in accepting the President's Award from the NAACP. It was her first gala appearance since November 2021, when she attended an awards ceremony for veterans at Intrepid Museum, in New York City. Meghan also wore her engagement ring which was designed by her husband to include diamonds from his mother's collection. The Duchess described during the couple's engagement interview, in November 2017, how the gesture helped her feel Diana was a part of their relationship. Diana has proved an inspiration to both Kate Middleton, who wore a Catherine Walker coat on her recent visit to Norway, and Meghan, whose Christopher John Rogers design encapsulates the ease and impact of Diana's signature style. The ease and impact 